Hello, and welcome back to Batman The Enemy Within with me, Bouncy. So, Bruce Wayne needs to uh, break into, steal his own technology or something like that. Hello, I own this place. Nothing suspicious here. Uh, Mr. Wayne! Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. Sure. So, um, what brings you in? Uh, if you don't mind me asking. This is my building, so... <laughs> I believe that's my name on the building. Which means I don't have to explain myself to you. Mm -hmm. well, well, of course not, Mr. Wayne. I, I didn't... <laughs> You're checked in, sir. Good. Yeah, nothing seems suspicious here. Think your hiring practices, Bruce? Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never kills anyone. Yeah, he seems to be moving. Going up, Brucey. You do know how an elevator works, don't you? Yeah, he, he seems fine. You know, <laughs> I might have pegged you wrong. <laughs> good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time. Mm, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. Don't do that again. <laughs> How cute. He thinks he's the one giving the orders. Well, this is my building. I mean, I could have you kicked out if I want. Listen, sugar. Don't ever tell me what I can and can't do. Bruce is a real man of substance, Harley. It's in his blood. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Now, Harley figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? <sighs> Fine. But no one else gets hurt. <laughs> You got a strange set of priorities for someone who wants on my good side. I get it, Bruce. You're the boss. You don't turn your back on your people, even when they're useless. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens, the power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Um, not like really. You, Bruce, I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. Yeah, I'm off so corporate gently. life, not for you, John. You should find your own thing. Make that dream a reality. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of dreams in this head of mine, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, Puds. All that slush you drink has got you. Um, uh... These are friends of mine. Nothing... Nothing's funny going on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... Friends of mine. <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Fashion. They're fashion consultants. Yes, yes. I'm wondering how I could explain how they look so strange, but... Yeah, that... that's it. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. 
Just think, you could come into work on Monday. The rules aren't really. They suddenly all became ventriloquists. They're not really much. Dress just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Uh, don't answer that! Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Punchline? That's... That's Joker's new girl. Excuse me? Yeah, this is clearly glitched. Sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said that off. Uh, this This isn't looking good. I <laughs> I'll rewind and uh, I'll start this episode or make the choice I already made and uh, g start recording again once it gets to th this point. Okay, I was around this point where the moles stopped moving. <laughs> They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! That's better. Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of- What with the sledgehammer? Uh, that's a fashion accessory joke. Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> oh. You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I don't mean that. Like that. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. <laughs> yes, that would be a terrible idea. Bruce has a job to do. Oh, shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Yeah, I, I want to set the two of them up, but she's making it hard. Whoa, what? Wait here, I'll be right back with you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. Oh. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. All right, What's all right. the hold up? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Uh, 
I present Flashback. to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. There. <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Yeah. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. All right. Maybe we should talk with John first. Can I? No? Alright, I guess I'll just get the key. Lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. Oh, that's. that make things difficult. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. I can L let me try to up. find latent prints around here with my scanner. Aha! Always thinking, this guy. All right, saving here. Hmm. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Hmm. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Maybe on the pencil? Or this? All right, that's a start. Also look at it. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. Okay, what about the pencil? Well, those pencils. Hmm. That's fine. Oh. I remember when Tiffany brought that back from art class. Getting oh. there. Okay. Ah, keyboard. Surely there's lots of fingerprints there. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. Okay. Just a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Oh. Auto, maybe. Okay, still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. There, so surely fingerprints. Nope. What? Not encouraging. Oh. Just need one more. Hmm. What? Ah. There we go. Okay, ah. this will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator pudding. 
Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Alright, well... <laughs> that will do for now. See you all next time. Bye-bye for now. Is this the kind of operation you run here? I'm <laughs> just joshing you, rich boy. Whew. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. Well, you know, if we're alive or dead, or if... If I would ever see you again. It wasn't a great time for me either.